Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I am showing you how I made this cute Easter Bunny grapevine wreath. I picked up the grapevine bunny wreath at Hobby Lobby. Just make sure you go when it's either 40% off or use your 40% off coupon. And if you want to screenshot the barcode, you can. So you'll need one bunny wreath and what I did was I didn't like how you could see right through it, so I wanted it to have a background. And so I traced the bunny and then cut it out of cardboard. And I decided I wanted to add some decorative paper. And so Hobby Lobby had theirs for like four for a dollar. And so I decided to go with this Harlequin pattern. Hobby Lobby has a lot of paper, so there's lots of patterns you can choose from. But this is just the one I chose. And so now I am tracing the pattern onto the decorative paper. Now, um, I don't know what the regular price is. When I went to Hobby Lobby, it was on sale for four sheets for $1. You are going to also need some Mod Podge and a brush. After you have your bunny traced, you will want to cut it out. And then you'll have to cut out the bottom half too. So you'll still have two sheets of paper left if you get it for four for a dollar, which is nice. So this is how it looks so far. Next, I am using some Mod Podge to secure the paper to the cardboard. Now you do not have to use regular cardboard. It would probably work better if you use something a little less thick and heavy. You might could even take a cereal box and use it for your cardboard because you really don't need anything as heavy as this cardboard box is. So just take and cover your cardboard or whatever you're using with Mod Podge. Try to make sure you get the edges too. After you have a thin layer of Mod Podge, now it's time to take your decorative paper and place it over the cardboard and just kind of press it down and I like to use a scraper to kind of get the air bubbles and the ex excess glue out so that it, the paper lays smoother so I just kind of glide it along and I picked up these scrapers in the automotive section and it just says Bondo and I think it comes in a pack of three after you have the top half done go ahead and do the bottom half same steps kind of go over the edge the bottom edge of the paper because you're going to be kind of layering that bottom half over the top half because you kind of want to make sure your pattern of your papers line up. So just put a nice layer on the bottom. Try to get it pretty even and make sure you get, get the edges of your cardboard. It does take quite a bit of Mod Podge for this wreath because you have to put a layer of Mod Podge down to put the paper on. Then after you have your paper added, you're going to put another layer of Mod Podge on. But make sure between layers that you wait about 20 minutes or until the Mod Podge has had time to dry. My paper didn't line up just perfect, but that's okay. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to get things to line up when you're having to do a top half and a bottom half. And then just smooth the paper out and get all the wrinkles and air bubbles out. And I don't know, they probably have these in the craft section too, but I just couldn't find them there. So I went to the automotive section. Now you will want to set aside your bunny and let the Mod Podge dry completely. And then after it's dry, you're just going to put a thin layer of Mod Podge over your paper. Try to make sure and get the edges too. And just try to make sure you're not getting it too thick because you want it to dry clear. And so sometimes if you get it a little thick, it has kind of a white tint. So just try to get an even thin coat all over the paper and then you'll have to wait and let it dry too. Next, I'm tying a bow for this wreath and you may have already seen the bow tutorial because I uploaded it a few days ago. So if you have, fast forward to seven minutes and 12 seconds. 
For this bow, I'm using three different colors of ribbon with wire, and this is the 1.5 inch width ribbon, and the other two are 2.5 inch width ribbon. You're going to cut the ribbon into strips, two of each color, and cut them at 16 inches. You will have a total of six strips of ribbon. First, you're going to take one strip and you're going to make a loop. When you make your loop, make sure that you have the end where you made the loop pinch above it about an inch and a half so that that way when you add your pipe cleaner and twist it, that way it's not gonna pull out when you shape your bow. This is a simple way to make a full fluffy bow. It turns out really pretty. So all you're doing is just taking your ribbon, folding it to make a loop, gather it in your hand, pinch the ribbon nicely, add it to the others, and then you'll just continue until you have used all six strips. Just keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, and then you'll want to have a pipe cleaner close by. So just take the strip, make a loop, gather the ribbon tightly, and then add it with the other ribbon. This bow is very simple to make. I know I get a lot of questions about tying bows, but this is probably the easiest way. Just try to make your loops the same size each time. After you have all six loops in your hand, you're going to take your pipe cleaner, go just below the loops, and you're going to twist that pipe cleaner really tight around the ribbon. You want it nice and tight, that way it does not pull out when you're fluffing your loops and shaping your bow. So next, just fluff your loops and shape your bow. Now sometimes it takes a few minutes to get your bow the shape that you like, but just play with it until you're happy. Next, I am going to dovetail the ends of the ribbon. Take your ribbon, fold it in half with your edges to the left side, go to your fold and cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends. Now you can take the pipe cleaners and wrap them around the grapevine wreath and then go to the back and give the pipe cleaners a few twists and trim off the extra part of the pipe cleaners. Next, I'm going to be adding the Harlequin paper, and it's a little bit heavy and thick. That's why I suggested maybe using a cereal box or a lighter weight, thinner cardboard than a box, because it took a lot of glue to get the wreath to stay together. The cardboard and the grapevine did not want to stay together well, so here I'm using some Gorilla Glue brand hot glue and glue sticks, and then we put a lot of glue and held it down, and then I went back with E6000 and let it dry overnight. I made this wreath several days ago, and I didn't want to share it until I checked to make sure that it would stay together and not come apart, and with the Gorilla Glue brand glue sticks and the E6000, it stays on fine. I also had the thought that maybe before you attach the cardboard to the grapevine wreath, putting a few holes in it and just wiring the cardboard onto the wreath. So that's another option instead of using glue. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share.